What's up guys? Welcome to my fall shoe guide. I literally just hauled ass, rode my bike home so I could film this video and I'm losing sunlight so I have to hurry because it's already getting dark. And it's 6 o'clock. I'm so looking forward to the days where it gets dark at 4.30. I love being in bed by 7 o'clock because I'm an old lady. Who else loves that? Who loves being in bed early and like getting a good night's rest? Me. I'm gonna kind of keep it to shoes that I love to wear during the fall. Kind of just like my go-to, number one, grab these shoes and go. And then I'm also gonna tell you guys what is on my wish list, what I'm planning on getting within the next month for fall. And before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know, I'm going to link all of the shoes that I can find online down below, as well as things on my wish list, as well as alternatives. So you will have like a whole fall shoe shopping guide Below. Let's go ahead and get started. The first ones are my slides. I absolutely love these. I think they make any outfit look so chic, so stylish, so trendy. You can even throw on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and like a leather jacket and these guys and you're all set. Like it's such a cool outfit. So I'm in love with my slides. These are from French Connection. I think they're actually on sale right now at Lord & Taylor. I need to get a pair of just plain black because all I have are the patent right now. But um, yeah, black patent or plain black leather, you can't go wrong. And next, which is kind of in the same category as the slide, are my little loafers. And you guys, you know, it is like so hard to buy your first pair of loafers because you're like, those are so old lady, so grandpa. But you know, I love these. I get so many compliments when I wear them. I just think they look so good with dresses, with jeans. I mean like anything. This is just like a great alternative to just a plain black pair of flats. Anytime you, you wanna throw on a pair of flats, go for your slides or your loafers instead and I promise it'll make a world of difference on what your outfit looks like. Step outside the box. Stay, step outside of your comfort zone of your black flats and go for something a little bit more um, modern and a little bit more um, fashion forward. Next is a pair of just plain nude block heel sandals. I'm, I'm obviously a black shoe person, so buying these has really changed up the way that I dress my outfit. So anytime I'm wearing a top or something with kind of more nude warm colors, I go for this and it really changes up the whole tone of my outfit. I'm always such a black, white, and gray person and this year I'm really trying to like go for brighter colors and warmer colors. So this was um, almost an impractical purchase for me until I bought them and I've, I've worn them quite a bit. Anytime you feel your outfit's just a little bit too dark, just add a lighter shoe on bottom and you're good. And these are so comfortable because it's a little block heel guy. We love those! Next are these leopard loafers by Dune London. I think it just said loafers. I seriously hope Lord & Taylor gets these back in stock because these are amazing. I will keep looking for them for you. These are my go-to when I want to add a print to something. And like I said before, I do a lot of black and white and just kind of solid colors. So adding a print to the bottom like just makes the whole outfit. So anytime I've got on a plain white shirt and black shorts, I add these and it's it just it's the whole thing. I either do a printed shoe or a printed bag and it just makes the whole outfit. It's your statement piece. I definitely recommend a pair of leopard shoes of some some sort, whether you're going for a heel, booty, a loafer, add some leopard in your life. Next is my studded booty. These are from Forever 21. I really, really wanted the Chloe. Susanna boot, which is pictured right here, but every time I would save up for them, I would end up buying something else. <laughs> so, I just can't quite seem to like buy them. So I opted for these instead. These were $27 and it's it gives you the exact same look. I think this is um, a great alternative to just a plain black boot. Like why not add something with a little bit of stud to it, just to kind of liven up the bottom of your outfit. I like to wear these with black skinny jeans, skirts, if I'm wearing a girly skirt or a girly dress, I really like to add something like this to make it a little bit more cool, a little bit more edgy, and it really changes up your outfit. And speaking of studs, I have got these guys and they are from, I don't know, but I got these on Poshmark. Someone was selling them for like $15. So obviously I bought them. I think they're from Zara actually. 
but they're super cool. They've just got some really awesome detailing and I like to wear these when I'm wearing like tights or skirts. They don't really look that great with skinny jeans, but tights and skirts and dresses and stuff like that, this is like my go-to for fall. I just think they're like the coolest shoe. I love them so much. Boop, boop. And the heel's so short. Look how low the heel is, I love it. They're so comfortable, I could wear them all day. Obviously, I have. Next are these booties from Aldo. And this is for when I'm wearing like some sort of denim bottom, like a denim skinny jean, a denim skirt, denim shorts with like an oversized sweater. I think this color booty is so important for stuff like that. I really was going for the look of the Isabel Marat ones, but um, they're so pricey for just like something that I could find you know, for under $100, like I, I just don't see, I wouldn't spend the money on an Isabel Marat booty when I could find these, they look exactly the same. I was a little hesitant with buying them because I was like, ugh, oh, you know, I always wear my black booties, but now that I own these, I literally grab them so much more than I thought I would. Next are these from Aldo, and when I brought these home, I thought Ryan was gonna fall out of his chair. He thought they were the ugliest things in the whole world, but <laughs> I literally get so many compliments on these. I love them so much. And everyone thinks they're Stella McCartney and they're absolutely not. They're from Aldo. They're a bit heavy, but I think most of these kind of platform Oxford loafers are a little bit heavier. These are just good with skinny jeans, with dresses, with skirts. And again, this is also an alternative to a black flat if you want to add, you know, like liven up your black shoe game. Like go for some alternatives. Don't just reach for your black flats all the time. Grab something like this, grab something like this, or the slide. Mix it up a little bit, step out of your comfort zone. Next is my super easy, just plain motorcycle boot. And I told you guys in one of my style videos that these have lasted me like a few winters. Like look at the heel, it's already like chipping away. These are awesome. They, they've been through many snowstorms. They're so great. They're like worn in, they look cool. They're from Steve Madden a few years ago but I know they have some, just like this on, I think ASOS has, has quite a few, and I know Fry makes really good biker boots like this. These are really good for when you're wearing like an oversized sweater and skinny jeans. These pretty much stay by my front door in the winter time because I just grab them whenever I'm going out anywhere to like run errands, go down the street for something. This is my go-to grab biker boot. Next is my over-the-knee boot. Whoop. These are by Jean-Michel Cazabat, and I did invest in these because it is so hard to find a good over-the-knee boot that, for me at least, that wasn't slouching. Because I have such small legs that I couldn't find anything to stretch and fit onto my leg and actually like grasp on and not scrunch down. The material is so great. You can tie them in the back to make them tighter. The heel isn't too high. I think it's just like four inches maybe, so. It's a really good height, they're good for going out, they're good for like dressing down. You can pretty much do whatever with these. And of course, my classic black leather ankle booties from Zara. These are my go-to when I need a little bit of height, when I need to add a little something dressier, you know, a little something cooler. I don't wanna do something flat. This heel is super low. Um, but you still get the effect of like an actual heel. I love how these are skinny at the ankles, so I can wear these with my crop flares or my mom jeans, and um, they're not so big on my ankle because I think when you have an ankle booty, it's important that you know your your shoe isn't swallowing your ankle, that you have something that's holding onto it. Because I think it just it's just a cleaner look. It looks nicer. And lastly, I'll just go over a couple of boots that are on my wish list. Um, I'm gonna post a photo right here. These are by Matisse and they are the graffiti ankle booty and I'm gonna just order these. Like, I'm literally gonna order them tonight. I love them so much. I was really just waiting to see them in person. Emailed their customer service and I was like, where can I find these in New York City? And they were like, they don't exist anywhere in New York City. They're only in online. So I'm gonna order them tonight and I will let you guys know what I think of them because I think there's just so many cool colors in them. If you subscribe to my lookbook, you will see that I put these in a few looks. Um, my favorite is with a red sweater and denim. Like how sick will these boots be with that outfit? So I just think like a good printed booty is so cool to like dress your outfit up, make it a little bit more interesting. Um, for those outfits where you do just have two basics, I think a printed shoe is so important. That is why I wear these so much because when I do wear my basics and put this on, it just makes your outfit 
completely different. And another shoe on my wish list are these leopard booties by Kenneth Cole. And for some reason, all of the Kenneth Cole stores in New York City are closing down. I was like Google mapping them and they're all shut down. I'm not sure what's going on. I really wanna get these because I really want a good pair of booties for winter because these are only gonna last me through fall. Like my little ankle will freeze off if I try to wear these. It's so cold here that like your skin hurts. I wanna get these to replace these for the winter. All right guys, that is all I have for you for my fall shoe guide. I really wanted to just kind of point out my key um, shoes, my go-tos, things that I just can't live without. I usually do go on like a small shoe shopping spree at the beginning of every season because I feel like what a perfect way to start the season is with, you know, three or four pairs of new shoes. And I think it really just kind of sets you up for this season's wardrobe because I like to buy, you know, a few pair of new shoes and then especially like funkier shoes. And then I like to kind of match, you know, my fall wardrobe, things that I'm buying for fall to my shoes. That way you've got outfits no matter what. I know a lot of you who, who watch my How to Style videos see all of my shoes. And um, I'm about to start buying more of my fall shoes. So you guys will start seeing a little bit more of a shift from my summer to my fall, then to my winter. I'm gonna spend a little bit picking out some shoes for you guys online. Um, it's gonna be a branch off of kind of what I've got going on here. So definitely check that out below if you are looking to up your shoe game for fall. Having all of these shoes on my couch right now is giving me such anxiety. Being in New York and walking around and stepping in like God knows what, I stepped in like everything that you can imagine. And here are all my shoes just like chilling on my couch where I put, you know, my body. <sighs> And I know I mentioned my lookbook a few times. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do have a monthly lookbook that I send out to you guys. Just go here to sign up to receive that. It's basically just a monthly lookbook of outfits that I have personally chosen with shopping links right below and some inspiration photos. Um, and we also have a private Facebook group where we go and like share our outfit, our um, outfit of the days and just kind of give tips and you know, like, oh my God, look what I found. Like, you have to buy this. So, it's coming along great. It's such a cool community. I'm like really enjoying checking Facebook and chatting with everybody. It's fun. So, click here to join that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Happy Saturday, you guys. I am the worst. I did not vlog one time yesterday. No, it's Sunday. <laughs> what I meant to say was happy Sunday. This is how my weekend is gone. I don't even know what today is, honestly. I didn't vlog at all yesterday on Saturday or Friday. I was trying to get the lookbook out to you guys, which is out. Let me know how you love it. I'm playing catch up today, like on my whole life. So life catch up is happening now. And where are we going? We're going to Starbucks. We're looking for um, coffee. Or do you want to go to Blue Bottle? Just got the lookbook blasted out. So we're so excited. I think I like this lookbook than I, better than I did last month because it's more layering, more fall. And I also added some inspiration photos of myself and um, just other bloggers and celebrities who I think kind of portray the outfit that I was going for. So right now I'm styling over the knee boots. Woohoo, you guys have been asking for it. So that's happening today. How loud is my stomach growling today? Many decibels. I know, I'm so embarrassed.